Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? We may be seated. Uh, I'll be very brief, but before I go, you know, into the message, let me remind you about the issue of TV. I'll keep on talking about this one because we need more people to support this channel. We are on YouTube and Facebook. Now, next year, next year is like tomorrow, we are opening a TV station here, which will mean that if you people, you are not watching this TV, this TV will be useless, and the network provider cannot keep us on their satellite without people watching the TV station. So this is the time that you, you share, you know, the platform with your sister, your brother, anywhere where you know you can uh, talk to. You can call them whenever you see that the service is on. Tell them to switch on YouTube and Facebook. So that by the time we are launching the TV station, we have a large what? Followers. I know that even right now, we have a large followers on YouTube. I can see it on Facebook. But when it comes to the TV station, even our local brothers and sisters must watch this at home. Amen. So I'm encouraging you. No one can stand alone. And no one can succeed alone. I need you. You need me. The document is here with me. I gave the testimony last week without the, uh, the document. I think at the end of the service, I'll bring it and show you that this is the document. Because some of you may think that, no, he's just talking about it. Where is the paper? I'll bring it. You see it. There are Thomases inside the church. Amen. So the TV license is here with us. So it is you and me to stand together. This is not for fun or something you can just say, no, this is a placatical work which needs your support, your commitment, and your sacrifice so that this TV station will not be like we want to show the people that, oh, we can uh, open it. No. This one must, even if you know where to live this world today, the people behind us must, you know, carry on. Keep on what? Reaching the masses outside there. So this is the time. Let's put our hands together and support this channel. Next year, it's like tomorrow, we are opening a TV station. Your support is needed. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. The way you celebrated on Sunday, that is the way you need to support this one. Amen. Please, I'm begging you. It's a serious issue. It's a serious channel. If you need to let Ambika by YouTube, no, but to Kakwata and if a channel where yes, you see that DSTV, Go TV, or Top Star, any of these, you know, uh, network providers. But without oneness, you can open the TV station today. Tomorrow is closed. Why? No support. But as I said last Sunday, Jesus I know this one is too small for him. There's nothing too big for him. So let's put our hands together and make sure that we support this channel. We raise Zambian flag. I talked about this. There are so many people have, you know, wanting to come and play with us from, different, from outside Zambia. Starting from the last year, I don't know if it last year or the other year. I said, no, not this time around. We need to put our house in order. There are so many people from Namibia, Botswana, South Africa, and other countries who want to come and worship with us. 
They have seen one or two things on the YouTube and Facebook. But we have now, you know, uh, coming very close to our own TV station, which we need a lot of people to push us forward. So you see very soon our brothers and sisters from different countries coming to this place, worship with us, congregating with us. They are not coming here for, you, for me or for you. They have seen the power of God at work in us. That is the more reason why they are requesting. Because what you see happening here, this is what I witness anywhere I go. Let me just be specific. In my father's, you know, church in Nigeria, the same deliverance and healing is what people flying all over the world to go and get their freedom. And it is happening here. Deliverance. There are people who have, you have delivered. They are inside the church. They didn't give their testimony. They are there. Every week we conduct what? Deliverance. And people must come back and testify life after and life before. So that even those who are watching there, deliverance is what can make you to succeed in life. Even when it comes to salvation, no one can go to heaven without deliverance. Mark my word. It is, it is Bible. No one can go to heaven without what? Deliverance. Because when you are delivered, the spirit of God will take over your life as an ambassador of Christ. So that at the end of your journey here on earth, it is the same spirit that will take you to heaven. Praise the Lord. Yes. You saw the sister. She was not, you know, sick. She manifested. Before you know it, she's pregnant. And I want to encourage my people again. Let us make sure that when we are bringing testimony of that nature, even during pregnancy, bring the photos. There are people who cannot understand because they are very far, they are watching you. Bring the photos during your pregnancy. Let people see that process. And then the baby as well. So that people, this time around, there are so many fake, fake things. This is why we need to make sure that anything we are showing on the channel must be factual, I mean truthful, so that even those who are watching can say, yes, we saw this, yes, it's true, yes, it's true. Not whereby you just show on the other side. That is my, my counsel concerning the, the TV issue. Thank you. God bless you. Remember the message I introduced to you last Sunday. Future belongs to God. Tell your neighbor, say, future belongs to God. <laughs> say it again. Future yes, future belongs to God. What your family, I mean your father, your mother, your brothers and sisters knows about your life, is not what Jesus knows about your life. They may know you as a ferrier, as a drunker, a useless man, a crippled person, a blind man. It is only the physical nature they can see. But your future is in Jesus' hands. I gave you that example. In that book of John 9, this one. That man was born blind. From birth, the man could not see. He was totally depending upon his family members for him to survive, for him to eat. But because future belongs to God, God himself appeared through his servants. Jesus himself appeared to this man. The Bible says that he spit on the ground. And the same saliva, he, he formed some mud and put on that man's eyes. And he said, go and wash yourself in Siloam. And the man went. Just after that, 
This is the man who was born blind. Now the man can see clearly and walk freely without anyone supporting him. Who can do that? Money cannot do that. Education cannot do that. If education is a solution to our problem, all these problems that we are facing, sickness, economic, whatever, conflict all over the world, I think education could have been, you know, a solution by now. I am not saying education is bad. No. Please, quote me clearly. But we are focused more on the things of this world. Not knowing that my future and your future belongs to God. Joseph was rejected by his brothers. Each and every time the man talk, everyone will say, even the father one day he said, who do you think you are? Are you telling me that me and your brothers, we can bow to you? In that book of Genesis 37. Because of time, if you start from verse 12, that is where the father sent him to say, I want you to go and see your brother, how they are getting on with the, the sheep. Joseph went there. He went to the first place. He discovered that we are not there. He saw a man and said, sir, I'm looking for my brothers. My father sent me to come and check on them. He said, no, I'm sure they have gone somewhere to uh, Datan. He followed them. The Bible says that immediately they saw him, they said, he is a dreamer. This is our opportunity. We are going to kill him. That is the brothers now, and they were not joking, people of God. They said, we are going to kill him. Along the line, because his future was not to die premature. Come on, I'm talking to you. Because the future of Joseph was not him to die premature death. No one could lay his hand on him. Instead, they said, okay, let us sell this man to these people. Not knowing that the future of Joseph belongs to God. And his future was that Joseph must be a leader. Second in command. This is why the way you treat your brother today, the way you treat your sister today, think twice. Don't look at the situation now. You don't know the future. Even if you know my father, you know the way I started the journey of this ministry. It doesn't mean that my future belongs to you. No. Even if you know everything about my life, my future belongs to God. As long as my future is great, today I may look, you know, so useless and poor. Give me a chance and watch the space. You see me shining. And there you start now talking. This is the man. We know him. Knowing me does not mean you know my future. What you know is the flesh. Do you know spiritual life? You don't know. No one knows your spiritual life apart from the physical appearance. Make no mistake, people of God. The people you are underlating today, the people you are mistreating today, the people you are calling useless now, I'm warning you, future belongs to God. Future belongs to God. No one can make himself a great woman or great man if it is not God Almighty. Come on, I'm talking to you. Even those who are watching, no one can make himself a leader, a, a member of parliament, a governor, a president, a director of a company, if it is not your future. Future belongs to those who are sick now. You can even look at them and say, <laughs> if my future is not sick, God will use my sickness to display his power. To show the world that nothing impossible, nothing too big. If my, if my future does not carry poverty, you may see poverty on my head and my house. 
But God will use my power to display his power to give me what? Wealth. I'm talking to your future, not this body. Some of you, you are saying, ah, I've been coming to this church. I can't see any change. Change the money first. If the ambulance, when I stand here, years back, how I wish the media people can trace that video. I said seven or five years ago, I said, we are going to open our own what? TV station in a small classroom. I said, this is what I'm seeing in the future. Years back. Because for me, I don't depend, you know, on this body or what I'm going through now. I look at there, I say, oh, so that is me there. How be courageous. How be full of what? Hope. The only issue is for me to ask God that Father help me to reach there. Don't allow anything to distract me along the line. Help me to be strong. People can run away from me. People can say whatever they can say. But as long as I can see myself there, no problem. No problem. No problem. Even those who are going a lot of problems, I want you to trust Jesus. Don't trust your friend. Don't trust anyone. Your future is not sick. Your future cannot go to prison. It is only the flesh they can take there. Because future belongs to God. No one can arrest your future. They can afflict the body. I, I, I give you this example of Joseph. They said, here is a dreamer. Read the Bible there. In Genesis 37, you start from 12. Go down. You, you find that story. But they could not kill Joseph because his future was not, you know, Joseph to die a premature death. He was destined to be a great leader. Don't lose hope, my people. What you have lost is not your future. Your future is intact. Your future has no problem. Your future does not borrow. It is the flesh. And God is going to use your situation to display his power. To give you back what you have lost physically. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. A quick one. Let's go to the book I gave you last Sunday. Acts chapter 3. This is the man who was a beggar. Everyone knows this man to be a beggar. They will just carry him at the church so that he can ask something for the people who are going to church. Listen to verse 1. One day Peter and John were going up to the temple at the time of prayer at 3 in the afternoon. 2. Now a man who was ram from birth was being carried to the temple gates called Beautiful where he was put every day to beg from those who are going to the temple courts. Listen to that. Every day. So it was a, a, a program that this man must be taken to church so that he can beg. Because it's, it's a realm. It's a disabled person. Depending on those who are going to church, This is why, as a child of God, you need to know that your future belongs to God. Listen to this now. In verse 3. When he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for money. Because for him, what he knew about life is begging. Whoever is coming to church, he must... Raise his hand, sir. See me. Help me. People were able to put coin. Very few people who can give a blind man or a disabled person 100 kwacha. Some of you, if five kwacha, when you are out of shop light, change it. You touch 100 kwacha. No, change it. 
Shanchi twecho leta kuno vampofu na bala lomba lomba sana. That is the life of this man. Depending on begging. It is a life full of what? Frustration. Others will say bad things about your life. Others will tell you to say mlei kala kunganda. Anything can come out of their mouth. When this man saw Peter and John, he said, yes, they are two. I think uh, I'm going to receive some coins from them. Listen to what uh, Peter said. Peter looked, this is verse 4. Peter looked straight at him as John did. Then Peter said, look at us. This is Peter now talking to him. Verse 5. So the man gave them his attention, expecting to get some, something from them. That is money. Six. Then Peter said, silver or gold I do not have. But what I do have, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. For the first time in this man's life. That he was taken back to his future. From begging. Because spirit of begging was not his future. God, according to God's will. But to his family, they know him as a beggar. But to God himself, this man was not a beggar in his future. No one wants your future. No one should declare you, you know, a useless person, that you never give birth. No one should say, you were when a you were Are you Jesus? When did you become the second in command? from heaven. Future belongs to God. Those who are smiling today, mark my word, tomorrow you hear them crying. No one wants the future. Let me conclude this one. This is verse 7. Taking by the light hand, he helped him and instantly the man's feet and ankles became strong. Instantly the man's feet and ankles became what? Strong. What is next? This is a disabled man who was born like that. The man started now what? Walking. Let me finish. I want to acknowledge my brother there who are watching. My sister, you have been crying, taking medicine. Sometimes you go private to which doctors in order for you to solve your problem. Which doctors are not part of your future? Muchevo chakwa le sale sa tabi klemwe ngango kwa fomuntu awe. Your future belongs to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Verse 9. All the people saw him walking and praising God. They recognized him. This is 10. As the same man who used to sit, sigh, and begging at the temple gate. God beautiful. My people, this message must give you hope. Don't lose hope. No one knows what you become tomorrow. No one knows what you are calling in your future. Because you and your future, you are in God's hands. In that hand, you are not sick. That sickness is in the flesh. The future, which is in your father's hand, is not sick. You are not barren. It is this flesh. This man was known as a beggar. A disabled. Ngolea mkupana nguwa kashana. Wadile mana. Uinga kusumina. Where you are, your future is in him. Joseph became second in command in that country, in a foreign country. Who made him to be like that? It's God Almighty. You too, your future is in him. 
Those who are calling you names. Those who are wishing you bad things. They will be shocked. They know you as a drunker. They know you as a gossiper. They know you as a sick person. God does not know you as a sick person. Because your future belongs to him. If a blind man can receive his sight who was born blind. If this, the man who was disabled from birth can walk today. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Your future belongs to God. If Joseph was not destined to be a leader, the plan for his brother was enough for him to leave the world prematurely. But Pamela and Wapati Lesai, she went, Iwe, Niwe, Walida, Niwe, Kapusishaba, Wisona, Banoko, Niwe, Kalenge, Fiakuria, Baka, Kwate, Mayanda. Ama plans yaba, Munina, Tayabo, Mbele. Plan yando, Shita, Katada, Ibo, Mbapa, Life, Yen. Those family cases cannot work against your future. Because your future is in him. No one can curse the hands of God Almighty. No one can bewitch the hands of God Almighty. Those evil powers cannot work against you. Because your future belongs to God. I told you that lesson is going to bless you. That sickness is not there to kill you. But God Almighty will use that sickness to display his power. I'm talking to your future. Mm, not this body. Your future. So that God can use your future to locate you. And say, my son, my daughter, this is you now. Are you there, people of God? You will never marry. Who are you to say I will never marry? Unless if my future is telling me that you never marry. You never give birth. Who are you to say that? God is all. I say God Almighty is all. No one can argue with his word. No one can stand in his way. No one can broke his way. So your future is pregnant. I say your future is pregnant. Your future is pregnant. Come 2024. People might see that, oh, this is the way God works. We thought this woman is finished. We thought this man is finished. When you are walking like this, four or five people must look at you when you are passing. You know, I want to about no mbanga wapita wala isha nyaki. Ewe uwe ine. I'm giving you this message so that you give people story outside there. Let them talk about the glory of God in your life. Let them talk about the glory of God in your marriage. Your company this time around, next year, my goodness. My goodness. My goodness. Future belongs to God. Nothing is too big for him. What that person can do, me too, I can do better than him. Because the one I carry is more than a human being. You are not hearing this. You are not hearing this. You are a human being. You are a human being. No, this is why no one should underlet anyone. The person you are, you know, you are seeing today as useless. Oh, be careful. Be careful. Be, because the, the way they carried you for nine months, whether ten months, that is the same way they carried all of us. 
And that future is in God's hand. David yalelanda ki na mumala fe muri ba mayro na di mumala wale mpela wisdom yobe. Tawalo le shati yon defi yali kwa kulube mu. No, waburi le chinga chobi wabika muri ina. That grace is upon your life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Look at Joseph. You are feeling rejection within your family. No one is happy with you. Whatever you want to say, everyone will be against you. So, what, who, who do you think you are? They started calling him dreamer. But a dreamer at the end of the day, he become the, the breadwinner of the family. That is you. That is, don't lose hope. I know that you have, there's nothing that you have not done. But don't lose hope. Your future is not tired. The flesh is tired. But your future is not tired. What is impossible before now will be possible because of the hand of God upon your life. So carry this message inside your heart. People must talk about you to say, we know this woman. We know this man. He used to be this. Why now? That is my future. Mm, that is my what? It doesn't matter whether we are together at school or we used to be, I mean, to play football together. And then today you see me, you know, as a, a, a pilot. I said, ah, ah. Who you? Who is your woman about my Number 15. Future Tayaba Kumushudi and Afuma. Future Imudi Yesu. Uenda Muelo Puruka. Ewa Lengambe Pilot. So, which one is not a problem? Do you know my future? Ah, ah. No, Nadibeshwaba, Nina, Nadibeshwaba, Abatua Palamine, and Abo. Tamo Veshwaba. One day when I bought uh, the first car, I was driving in one of the lots somewhere there. Then when I pass, I see these people, the way they were looking at me. No con dea, Fenaba Sharanabe Minina. Then I said, ah. So we never let money to change and shape, boy. Ne? Mumu tmana ti inchirinde insha. This is just a beginning. That is your future. What people know about your life is not your future. Yes, your future is in Him. Who doesn't know how to fail? So, make no mistake. People will talk about you. You are part of this land. We are covenant people. When I say covenant, people thought it's a joke. You will see the fruit of that covenant. Thank you. God bless you. situation must bow within my body within my house within my family every new must bow and every time must confess Jesus is Lord.